In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create the motion blur effect and a motion blur transition in Adobe Premiere Pro without using any plugin. This video is divided into two segments. The first one is about how you can create the motion blur and the second one is about how you can create the transition. So here we are right inside of Adobe Premiere. So I have a simple footage right here. Typically we are doing a positioning by just going to effect control and here we got a motion and we just change uh, changing right here and we got a motion right here. Suppose we have to move this footage right away. So I'm just create a keyframe right here and just move like that. Or or I can create another frame at the end of this image and now as you can see if I move away like that simply so this footage is move away so there is no motion blur in this movement so in this video I'm going to tell you a super easy method to add a motion blur in a positioning so for that you actually need to go to effects and here just search transform and as you can see under the effects and under the distort we got a transform preset right here just drag on your footage you can also use video and text instead of image it's actually working for a text and video as well so just move to effects control and here as you can see we got a transform option right here and here we have a many options right here so if i simply go with a positioning like a simple one that we are done before like just add a keyframe right here and add a keyframe and just moving your footage right away like that so your footage is simply moving at your right side but the best point about the transform is that you can add a motion blur easily by using this trick so at the bottom we got a use composition shutter angle my sure it will be turn off and here we got a shutter angle you can increase your shutter angle to 0 to 360 but 180 is actually perfect for me you can also choose a value according to to your requirements so as you can see we got a motion blur right here you can also increase or decrease the angle according to your requirements so if I increase it to 360 it is actually the more motion blur but 180 is actually good for me so as you can see we got a motion blur effect right here you can also apply this to your text or video whatever you want so now let's move to the transition part. So here we have a two different footage. I downloaded it from Inveto. You can also get the link in the description below. So I need to arrange these footages to make a proper transition. For that, I just moved down my second footage under my first footage like five keyframes. So it make a proper transition because you can also increase or decrease the duration of your transition according to your requirements. But five frames is just good for me so here you go we have a footage now we just need to go to effects simply like before we done search transform drop this transform to both of your footages now select your first footage just go to effects control and now uncheck your second footage because we are just working for a first footage right now so drop down like that so now i just want to make a transition simple transition like my first footage is just moving back like uh, on the left side and my just second footage is just appearing on a frame so i just want to make a keyframe like here so i just create a positioning keyframes like that it's just a stable keyframe so, and after that i just hold shift and right arrow key and here is the five frames that we got now change the position to the very left side uncheck this use composition shutter angle and change the shutter angle to 180 right so we have just done this at the very end like that so now uncheck our first footage and check our second footage now just move to our second footage go to effects control and i make a keyframe right here we just need to make a keyframe like that like our footage is just appearing on a screen so now we just need to move our footage like that so that our footage is just appearing on a screen after our five keyframes and take these keyframes to the very beginning of our footage like that so now uncheck our first footage and 
as you can see we got a proper transition here so you can increase or decrease the duration of transition according to your use you can also apply this transition to your text effects or your video effects or your photos as well we got a simple one transition motion blur like here you can also change the orientation like you want to make it like up to down or down to up left to right or right to left it's actually on you how you want to make a transition so yeah here is the video of today i hope you like this video if you like this video give me a big thumbs up and comment down below if you have any question about motion blur or anything about premiere pro and after effect please let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video i will see you in the next one